Welcome to Kentucky Collectibles. Thank you, I'm excited. Given that we are filming today in Northern Kentucky, I was hopeful that we might see some good Rookwood, which is a company that was founded just across the river in Cincinnati. So I was thrilled to see you walk in with this. Yeah, we thought it was Rookwood, so I'm happy to hear that it actually is. And where did you come across it? It was actually from um, a family friend of ours. My dad found it in the basement. It was dirty and um, could have even been outside and uh, realized that it might be Rookwood. And so we've actually had it in our family now for probably over 30 years. And your dad actually thought that it was damaged or faded, right? Right, yeah. And in fact, as I've explained, it's not. That's actually the, yeah. the glaze that was used by the artist Frederick Rothenbusch. So I love the Rookwood Pottery story. It is really a wonderful story about women in business. Uh, Maria Longworth visited the, Colum the Centennial Exhibition, pardon me, in Philadelphia in 1876. She was a wealthy socialite in Cincinnati. Her family was very established and her father had become a real estate developer. Hmm. So when Maria returned from the Philadelphia Centennial Exhibition, her father was a little surprised when she asked him to fund a venture for her. She had been very impressed with the ceramics at that exhibition, particularly those from Japan, and she thought that the American uh, market should have such high quality. Mm -hmm. So I think that, it, I can imagine anyway, that maybe her father thought that he was going to fund a hobby. Yeah. But just 10 years into that hobby, Maria Longworth uh, took some examples of her company's work with some artists to the Paris Exposition and won a gold medal. Oh, wow. And really became r the, uh, the gold standard for American art pottery. Uh, Maria, you know, led the company with a mindset of quality artisans and quality um, materials, and she gave them kind of free reign to experiment and innovate. It was really remarkable. She was also the first woman uh, to own a manufacturing business in the United States. So That's I just awesome. love, as a woman in yeah. business, I love her story. She had great success. She left the company um, after a little while, but she had established such a great, great uh, manufacturer that it, Rookwood continued to lead the market for art pottery through the 1930s. And actually, yeah. Frederick Rothenbusch was working at Rookwood through about 1931. And on the plaque, uh, we see his initials in the lower corner here. And what I also love is if we turn it over, you can see on the back that it is completely untouched. It's in the original frame and um, completely sealed. And his name and the title of the work, Summer in the South, is at the bottom with the Rookwood sticker just above it. It's really a beautiful example. Uh, we've sold a number of works by Rothenbusch, and I would say with the size and the condition, I'd easily say at auction two to $4,000. Oh my gosh. I knew Rookwood it does well on more local um, auction houses, but I didn't know it Nationally, it's very collectible. That's awesome. Oh, that's, my family would be really excited to hear that. Yeah.